Question 7c. A particle moves in a straight line so that its displacement in metres is given by x equals t minus 2 over t plus 2, where t is measured in seconds. Part 1. What is the displacement when t equals 0? Substitute t equals 0 into the displacement equation to find the initial displacement. So x of 0 is equal to 0 minus 2 over 0 plus 2, which equals negative 1. Therefore, the initial displacement is negative 1 metres, or 1 metre to the left of the origin. Part 2. Show that x equals 1 minus 4 over t plus 2. Hence, find expressions for the velocity and the acceleration in terms of t. The numerator t minus 2 can be written as t plus 2 minus 4. Hence, the fraction t minus 2 over t plus 2 can be written as t plus 2 minus 4 over t plus 2. The next step is to express this single fraction as a difference of two fractions with a common denominator of t plus 2. So t minus 2 over t plus 2 is equal to t plus 2 over t plus 2 minus 4 over t plus 2, which equals 1 minus 4 over t plus 2 as required. Next, express the displacement equation 1 minus 4 over t plus 2 using index notation prior to differentiation. So x is equal to 1 minus 4 times t plus 2 to the power of negative 1. Now we can differentiate the displacement equation to find an equation for the velocity x dot. So the velocity x dot is equal to 4 times t plus 2 in brackets to the power of negative 2, or 4 over t plus 2 in brackets all squared. And the acceleration can be found by differentiating the velocity equation with respect to t. So the acceleration x double dot is equal to negative 8 times t plus 2 to the power of negative 3, or negative 8 over t plus 2 in brackets, all cubed. Part 3. Is the particle ever at rest? Give reasons for your answer. The particle is at rest if x dot, or the velocity of the particle at any point in time, is equal to 0. Consider the velocity equation x dot is equal to 4 over t plus 2 in brackets squared. Now this fraction can never equal 0 for any value of t greater than or equal to 0. And since x dot cannot equal 0 for any value of t greater than or equal to 0, the particle is never at rest. Part 4. What is the limiting velocity of the particle as t increases indefinitely? The limiting velocity of the particle can be found by finding the limit as t approaches infinity of the velocity equation 4 over t plus 2 in brackets all squared. Now if we let t equal infinity, infinity plus 2 is just equal to infinity and squaring infinity will just give infinity again and 4 over infinity is just equal to 0. Therefore the limiting velocity of the particle is 0.